Isaiah chapter 33, and we'll read from verse 14 <clears throat> to verse 24. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness has seized the hypocrisies. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, he who despises the gain of oppressors, who gestures with his hands, refusing bribes, who stops his ears from hearing a bloodshed and shuts his eyes from seeing evil. He who dwells on high, his place of defense will be the fortress of rock. Bread will be given him, his water will be sure. Your eyes will see the king in his beauty. They will see the land that is very far off. Your heart will meditate on terror. Where is the scribe? Where is he who waits? Where is he who counts the tower? You will not see a fierce people, a people of obscure speech beyond perception. Of a stammering tongue that you can, un, cannot understand. Look upon Zion, the city of our appointed feasts. Your eyes will see Jerusalem of a quiet home. A quiet home. A tabernacle that will not be taken down. Not one of its stakes will ever be removed. Nor will any of its cords be broken. But there the majest, majestic Lord will be for us. A place of broad rivers and streams in which no galley with oars will sail. Nor majestic sh ships pass. For the Lord is our judge. The Lord is our lawgiver. The Lord is our king. He will save us. Your tackle is loosed. They could not strengthen uh, their mast. They could not spread their sail. Then the prey of great plunder is divided. The lame take the prey, and the inhabitants will not say, I'm sick. The people who dwell in it will be forgiven their iniquity. Amen. The future of Israel. But you know what Jesus said? Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. Amen. What will take place on earth soon is one thing. <clears throat> I want you to understand a couple of things. The progressive or the progression that God has shown in the word of God. Have you noticed that he began with Abraham? <clears throat> And just, he just established that foundation with Abraham of faith. Everything will be built on faith. By grace. Through grace with God. And then he moves on into another phase. By choosing Israelites, by showing them <clears throat> the pattern. He gave them the blueprint that we call an, an old covenant. That begins to unveil God's plan and what God wants to do. And what God is willing to do. And what God will. So through this blueprint, He showed us the Messiah, the coming of the Messiah. <clears throat> the things that will take place when the Messiah will come. That was a, a next phase that God has shown. So the next phase after that was when Jesus came. Fulfilled everything. The blueprint. And then he said. That God's kingdom came. On earth. As it is in heaven. Okay. So what it happened. What, what, what it means. When we had a blueprint. We had a blueprint. Of what God desires to do on earth. But he could not do that yet. <clears throat> in the Old Testament. It was just a blueprint. All right. We saw some glimpse here and there, there and there. Not even one <clears throat> leper, except the Syrian one, was healed. Alright? 
They did not practice healings, deliverance. They did not practice the fullness of uh, salvation and the power of God in the Old Testament because they could not. It was a blueprint. It was before their eyes. It was given to them. It was promised to them. When God was moving with His plan ahead, when Jesus came and He healed the first leper. He healed, began to heal people, deliver people, set them free. That was a new covenant, the new phase that God has brought in. Are you with me? Yes. So what is the progress? When you read Isaiah, when you read the prophets, you have to understand that when, when we are reading this... Um, uh, writings, uh, especially when God spoke something through prophets, it's for now and the future and the future's future. All right? And what it means is right now, as we uh, uh, right now, as we living in the New Testament covenant that has been fulfilled. Already what God has said in the old. And when Jesus said that your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. With the new covenant, we see God's will being fulfilled on earth. What God has promised in the Old Testament and what God is promising ahead in the future. The, the only difference is that our, our life right now, that containing God's kingdom, <clears throat> are still a blueprint of what God is going to do on earth in the future. Are you following me? Look what Jesus said. Look what the Bible says in Isaiah. In Israel... Is the portrait of that future of the, as well. But we're not going to be talking about Israel today. We're going to be talking about ourselves. In verse 20 it says, Look upon Zion, the city of our appointed feasts. Your eyes will see Jerusalem a, qu- a quiet home. Hallelujah. Is there a possibility? Jerusalem today is a, is a part of... Uh, a boiling pot. People killing, stabbing, and, and doing all kinds of things. But the Bible says it's a quiet city. <clears throat> but you know what God, the Bible says in Isaiah 9 and 7 actually? That He is the Prince of Peace. And the government shall be upon His shoulders. And the increase of His government shall have no end. With the new covenant, what Jesus did, and what the Lord has brought into our life, the exact replica of God's kingdom that is in heaven right now, but is going to be on earth one day. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad you're saved? Amen. Through the blood of Jesus? Hallelujah. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Melech, Ha'olam. Not just Israel. Did I say it right? Look at that. I'm getting better. (laughs) Listen, listen. When you look into these prophecies, you just so much rejoicing because Jesus said that He's the Prince of Peace and the increase of his government will be upon his shoulders. The increase of peace is going to be more and more. The kingdom of God is already inside, dwelling, and we have that peace. We have that tranquility. We have more than that. And I'll show that to you. Let's look into the scriptures and see what God has prophesied through Isaiah. What is going to take place in Israel, in literal Israel. And what is taking place in our life today. Because it's a replica. You have to understand that what God said about Zion is inside of your life right now. It's better. 
Are you following me? A lot of us are waiting for the moment, for the time when it's going to happen. Because we see, in the scriptures we see uh, promise. But you have to understand that God said, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It's already inside of you. It's inside of each believer. Amen. Oh, glory to God. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. And look what it says. Look upon Zion. Look upon me now. Because the God of Israel dwells inside of me. The city of our appointed feasts. Hallelujah. We just celebrated Pesach, Passover. In a literal way, but you know what? Inside of me, seven feasts of the Lord are fulfilled, been fulfilled. They dwell in inside of me. I'm saved through the blood of Yeshua. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, Shavuot. I will be ruptured with God. I'm forgiven. The Day of Atonement for me is over. And I'll dwell, I dwell with God in His presence, the Feast of Tabernacle. It's all inside. We, we possessed, we have possessed the kingdom of God because of Jesus. That's why we celebrate the feast, because it's all our part. I want you to get excited today, because when I came here, I felt a little bit of oppression. Somebody came with a discouragement spirit. Spirit of discouragement. Do you know what it is? It's a pure demonic attack and the enemy's spirit. The only person who must be discouraged is the devil himself. Because he has no future. But I have the future. <laughs> Amen? So he tries to throw the same spirit upon you, though that you don't have the victory. Oh, yes, you have. Hallelujah. And look at this. Look at this. It says, your eyes will see Jerusalem a quiet home. That's you. For now. A tabernacle that will not be taken down. God's presence is there. That will not be taken down. And I'm rejoicing over my people Israel. Because this is what is going to happen in the literal land. And every Jew. Every person. Every Jewish person. Will see my Messiah. And be filled with the spirit of God. Can you imagine? Wow, 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 wow. It's going to be fantastic. The land of Israel is going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Wow. <laughs> it's glorious. It's absolutely glorious. You know, it says that they will speak in tongues. Amen. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. Look, this is my question to you. I'm going to go just uh, crazy today. I'm going to go deeper a little bit. Do you believe that tongues were given to people that are living on earth only? Or tongues are given to every believer... Forever and ever and ever. A prayer language. A prayer language. What do you think? Try to figure it out. <laughs> this is my question to you. Just to throw it out because, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's think a little bit. Think it deeper. Why were the tongues given to people? <laughs> To worship God with. Is that right? 
to praise God in an unknown tongue. The tongue of, the Bible says angels, it's the tongue of the Spirit. I believe when we're going to live on earth with Christ, tongues still be there. We will continue to speak, not speak, but praise God in tongues. Because to me, when you praise in God in tongues, it's the highest type of worship. Amen? It's when your mind is shut and you're just worshiping God. It's the praise in the Spirit. You think you're going to stop praising God in the Spirit when you're going to live in millennium with Christ? I don't think so. I don't think so. So, Sister Katrina, you got those tongues this week just in time. Amen. Are you praising God in tongues now at home? Is it coming out? Yeah. 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 Amen. Well, the devil will try to snatch out from you because that's the, the, the language that you worship God with. And it's a powerful one. It's a weapon. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. So, don't give it away. Listen what it says. Not one of its stakes will ever be removed from the tabernacle, nor will any of its cores be broken. But the Lord, the majestic Lord, will be for us. Why? Because who can remove God's presence from us? No enemy. Nothing. When God comes and touches with His presence, when God settles His presence among us, who can take it away? Amen. Let's move on. But there is a majestic Lord will be for us. A place of broad rivers and streams. What is that? It's not about water. It's about the move of the Spirit. It's about the move of the Holy Spirit. And remember, I'm not talking about Israel that is going, is going to take place in the future. I'm talking about it's a blueprint for the people of God who are today in the Messiah. Are you listening? Amen. So get that discouragement. Get that spirit out because this is what you have. <clears throat> Amen. Look. In which no galley with oars will sail, nor majestic ships pass by. No. There will be no influence of anything else. It will be just the presence and the power of God. For the Lord is our judge. The Lord is our lawgiver. It says there. Do you see what kind of an encounter with God you are going to have? It's going to be just you and God. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's going to be fantastic. Now you have that blueprint. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. It is uh, in you as it is in heaven. Use it. We are so blessed. We are so majestically. We are so powerfully blessed. Well friends, this week we are going to be talking um, from about the book of Isaiah. And um, we are going to see powerful things there. It's um, um, a blueprint what God has done through Israel and when God has given us a new covenant and it speaks about the future but Jesus said God's kingdom came and the, the will be done on earth as it is in heaven so everything what we see there in Isaiah 33 is within our life we have to see that we have to see that it's, it's a powerful thing to have this kind of victory. It's a powerful thing to understand what kind of a life that God has given us and what kind of power and the anointing and what kind of a freedom that we have received in God. Amen. Oh, precious Jesus. Let me pray for you right now. Let's just believe God for your miracle. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just give you the praise and I thank you, Lord God, for touching people's lives. I thank you, Lord God, for ministering to them and blessing them today. This week, Father God, we just praise you and thank you. We just glorify your name. We just magnify your name. We praise you, Lord God, for your power, for your strength, for your anointing, for your healing power to go through their life. 
and heal their body, heal their soul, heal their life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we just give you the praise. Lord, touch their life, touch their life, touch their life, and give them Give them, give them that healing and deliverance, Lord God. Just minister to them and bless them. Bless them, my Lord. Answer their prayers. Oh, Lord, we're all looking for victory. And I pray that these people that are watching us today will receive that victory in their life in the mighty, precious name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Within the last month or so, I was introducing these two things, two products. Of course, Passover is over, but um, uh, Exodus chapter 12 is filled with information. And you don't need to wait for Passover to know what God has done uh, on your behalf through the, through the cross. Amen. And I'm going um, through chapter 12, verse by verse. We call it Passover verse by verse. Uh, when I introduced that a couple of weeks ago, a lot of people called. We had so many orders. And if you're still willing to receive that, it's on CD form. It's an audio. So give us a call and request your copy today. Passover from Exodus 12, verse by verse. It's a powerful revelation that will bless you. That will bless you. And another CD that we've been offering and still offering is Healing Scriptures. If you are sick in your body, if you're going through a tough time, scriptures are the answer for you. So I put a CD, I'm reading the scriptures, all the healing scriptures that we found in the Bible with the background music. When you're going to put this in your car or in your home, watch what God is going to do. God is going to heal you and touch your life. So why don't you order this today? Each CD is $15, one five, shipping is included. So call us today for healing scriptures and Passover verse by verse, which is Exodus chapter 12. And again, if you would like to receive our monthly magazine in the booklet form, give us a call and we will send that to you as well. This is free. Thank you so much for watching us today and thank you for your support. Thank you for standing with us. I appreciate your prayers, your support. We do need you and I thank you for helping us today. Shalom to you and we'll see you tomorrow for the next episode. Be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Praise be to Jesus. Come on, come on. Let's praise Him. Come on, build up that atmosphere of worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Prepare. Jesus is coming soon. Hallelujah. He wants you to be anointed. He wants to do the will of God. Amen. He wants to be free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. He has come. Oh, yes. To bring light into the darkness, He has come. To bring freedom to the captives, He has come. To heal the broken heart, it's time to proclaim the year of the Lord. Prepare the way. Prepare the way for our Redeemer. Prepare the way. Hallelujah, Lord. Prepare the way for our Restorer. Make ready your hearts. Make ready your homes. Make ready the people of God. Prepare the way. That's right. A little bit louder. That's good. Let's bless this place. Amen. He has come, Jesus, Yeshua, to bring hope to the hopeless. He has come to comfort all who mourn. He has come to heal our every sickness. It's time to proclaim.
for our Redeemer. Prepare the way. Prepare the way for our Restorer. Make ready your hearts. Make ready your homes. Make ready the people of God. Come on. House of David Jewish Messianic Ministry is produced and sponsored by viewers like you. We appreciate your support, which is allowing us to continue to broadcast our programming. Thank you, and God bless you. Shalom.